Hello again, my amazing artists. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day outside today. So I was thinking, why stay inside to make our artwork when we could try exploring some nature art together? I'm gonna go ahead and start with our learning target first. Here I go. I can create art using nature. Before we head outside, I want to introduce you to an artist who liked to use nature in his artwork as well. I've put together a quick little PowerPoint to show you who he is and the type of artwork that he makes and you might be inspired by. Let's go ahead and take a look together. Our artist that we're going to be learning a little bit about today is Mr. Andy Goldsworthy. Mr. Goldsworthy is a British sculptor and photographer who likes to make artwork called site-specific installations. That means he works on his artwork and builds it right where he would want you, the viewer, to see it. Whether that might be outside on a grassy hill or next to a lake, even sometimes building his artwork out in the snow. He uses things like rocks, ice, leaves, or branches to help create his artwork. He once said it's not about the art. It's about life and the need to understand that a lot of things in life do not last. What he means by this is that his artwork in particular, because it's created out of things found in nature, might not last forever. He then would take a photograph of his artwork though to help preserve it so that way we as viewers would be able to see it as well. Currently, Mr. Goldsworthy lives and works to this day in Scotland. I hope that some of these images of Mr. Goldsworthy work has helped inspire you now to create some nature art with me today. I'm going to go grab some of my art supplies and head outdoors. I'll see you friends there in a moment to show you how I'm going to create my nature art. All right, artists, here are some of the art materials that I found in my own backyard. Again, you might find things that are different from me, but this is what I have to work with that I found in my nature. For example, I found some very pretty, shiny white rocks. I found a couple of nice, bright yellow dandelions. I have some moss here, including a small little fuzzy woolly bear friend that I found. This is a woolly bear caterpillar right here. Some twigs. I had lots and lots of those in my yard, so I broke them into a little smaller pieces and also some tree bark. Now I have to start thinking about how I'm going to create either a design or a picture. I think for this first part, I might go ahead and do a design. So I'm gonna go ahead and move some of my art materials out of the way to help me create. Now, when you do start creating today, my friends, you can create anywhere you'd like. Right now, I'm on this cement block in my backyard, or maybe I could do this in the grass or on my driveway. I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna start with my nice piece of moss here and I'm gonna leave my little caterpillar friend right on there. I think around him though, maybe I'll go ahead and add some of those dandelions that I found right in the middle, just to give it a little bit more of a pop of color. I wish I had more dandelions, but again, I have to work with what I have in my own yard. Maybe then I'll go ahead and grab up some of my shiny white rocks that I have and I'll start laying those out maybe around my moss, kind of in a circle. I'm going for a radial design, just like how Mr. Goldsworthy might sometimes make. But again, there's no wrong way to create your nature art today. You can do it however you'd like. If you want to make a design like I'm making, or if you want to create a picture of a person or a thing, that's all right as well. Alrighty, I think that looks pretty good with my rocks all the way around it. Maybe then I'll go ahead and add some of my sticks. Like I said, I broke some of my sticks a little smaller. You can use big sticks in your design if you want, but those might go too far out. So I think I'll use my smaller sticks to continue my design. Maybe I'll start by putting them across from each other just to space them out a little bit more evenly. Now I'm going around, I'm just filling in a couple of spots in between where I already had some of my sticks. All right, so 
far. I think it's looking kind of like I said a little bit. Go ahead and set those down and maybe I'll do some of my bark next to fill in spots in between. Now again, just like my sticks, I can use them the size that they are, or if they look a little bit too big for my design, maybe, maybe I might want to carefully just give them a small little break just to make them a little bit smaller. Again, I might want to change my design, or if I'm happy with how my design looks, just like Mr. Goldsworthy, I'd go ahead and stop here maybe, and take a picture to help save it and preserve it. Again, if you want to take a photo of your artwork and upload it to Art Sonia, that way I can see what type of nature art you make, I would be happy to see what you do. Again, another way that you could do this besides making some sort of radial design is by creating a picture, such as a person or a thing, with your nature art. Maybe you could use some rocks for eyes. Maybe you could use some sticks to spell out letters or words even. However you want to create outside, I hope that you just enjoy some fresh air and creating art with nature.